Welcome to your favorite weekly digest about cybersecurity news. Let's start with all cybersecurity events and news from September 23rd, 2024. MoneyGram outage. Due to cybersecurity issue, MoneyGram faced a major outage caused by a cybersecurity issue that took its payment systems offline for multiple days. The fintech company, which handles a vast amount of sensitive customer data, is collaborating with third-party experts and law enforcement to address the situation. The outage has raised concerns over potential data breaches involving customer information. Ivanti Cloud Appliance Vulnerability a critical flaw, CVE 2024-8963 in Ivanti's cloud service appliance was discovered, allowing attackers to bypass admin authentication and execute arbitrary commands. The vulnerability is being actively exploited, and the Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Security Agency, or CISA, has mandated urgent patching. DHS Cybersecurity Grant Program the Department of Homeland Security announced $279.9 million in grant funding for state and local governments under the State and Local Cybersecurity Grant Program. This initiative aims to reduce cyber risks and strengthen resilience against cyber threats, especially for critical infrastructure like schools, hospitals and utilities. Microsoft's Secure Future Initiative Progress Microsoft provided an update on its Secure Future initiative, highlighting progress across six key cybersecurity pillars. The company emphasized its efforts in identity protection, network security, and overall organizational cyber governance, with security now tied to employee performance metrics. Predator spyware sanctions. The US government imposed sanctions on individuals and entities connected to Intellexa, the developer of the controversial Predator spyware. This spyware has been sold to authoritarian regimes, leading to concerns over its use in surveillance of citizens and political dissidents. Temu Data Breach Denial A hacker claimed to have stolen 87 million customer records from the online shopping platform Temu. However, Temu denied the breach, insisting that the data sample provided by the hacker did not match its records. The situation remains under investigation. Chinese engineer charged for cyber espionage. A Chinese national, Song Wu, was indicted for conducting a spear phishing campaign targeting NASA, universities, and private companies. His actions, carried out between 2017 and 2021, aimed to steal proprietary data. Song's arrest highlights ongoing concerns about state sponsored cyber espionage. Windows Floor allows malware attacks. A significant zero-day vulnerability in Windows MSHTML was being actively exploited by the Void Banshee APT group. The flaw allows remote attackers to execute code via crafted web pages or malicious files. CSA instructed federal agencies to patch systems promptly. Apple Drops NSO Group Case Apple voluntarily dismissed its case against NSO Group, the maker of Pegasus spyware. The decision was influenced by Apple's concerns over disclosing internal security practices in court and the weakening of NSO due to international pressure. San Francisco fights deep fake porn. San Francisco took legal steps against the rise of deep fake porn, especially targeting cases where AI generated content harms individuals without consent. This is part of a broader push to legislate against deep fakes, particularly for malicious purposes. U.S. grants sanctions against spyware developers. New sanctions were imposed on companies like Intellexa that sell spyware to authoritarian regimes. This reflects the broader effort to restrict the spyware industry, which is increasingly seen as a tool for political oppression and illegal surveillance. Millions of Kia cars vulnerable to remote attacks. Security researchers discovered that Kia cars could be remotely attacked using just the license plate number, exposing critical vulnerabilities in their systems. This created significant concern over the safety of connected vehicle infrastructure. 
North Korean cyber operatives were found infiltrating international IT industries, particularly in the US and Europe, under false identities. These workers pose a significant cyber risk as they access sensitive systems while hiding their connections to North Korea. A water treatment plant in Kansas fell victim to a ransomware attack, forcing operators to switch to manual systems. Although no customer data was compromised, the attack illustrates how vulnerable critical infrastructure remains to ransomware. Here are some critical vulnerabilities, also known as CVEs, with a CVSS score higher than 8.5 for the last week. CVE 2024-8436, this vulnerability in the WP Easy Gallery WordPress plugin up to version 4.8.5 allows an attacker with subscriber level access to perform SQL injection. It has a CVS score of 9.9 .9 due to its ability to extract sensitive information from databases. No known patch is available yet. CVE 2024-45414. This stack-based buffer overflow vulnerability affects multiple ZTE routers. It allows an unauthenticated remote attacker to execute arbitrary code as root. The CVSS score is 9.8, making it highly critical. CVE 2024-44542, found in Todesk version 1.1. This SQL injection vulnerability allows remote code execution via a specific parameter in the software. The CVSS score is 9.8, which reflects the severity of the issue. CVE 2024-45410. This vulnerability affects Trafic, a popular cloud-native application proxy. Attackers can modify critical HTTP headers, which can lead to manipulation of application behavior. It has a CVSS score of 9.8, CVE 2024-43461, a Windows MS HTML platform spoofing vulnerability. This vulnerability allows an attacker to exploit weaknesses in the MS HTML platform, leading to code execution through a spoofed web page. The CVSS score is 8.8, .8, indicating high severity. CVE 2024-41721, a free BSD USB out-of-bounds read vulnerability. This flaw could lead to remote code execution due to insufficient boundary validation, allowing an attacker to potentially write arbitrary code. It has a CVSS score of 9.8, CVE 2024-42024. This critical vulnerability in VM1 allows an attacker to perform remote code execution using the service account credentials. It has a CVSS score of 9.1, making it a severe threat. Now subscribe to the YouTube channel to stay up to date with new threats. Stay vigilant, take care.